There you are, Trevor. Ah, oh, but ain't my favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? Fine and dandy, sir. You ready to hunt some elk? Ah, uh, beat satellite dishes. <laughs> Lead the way. Oh, here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them. And they'll bolt. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. But an elk's nose is as big as defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. All right, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. Go on. In the head. Trevor, you're colder than a mother-in-law's kiss. All right, stick with me. I'll lead us further in. Keep quiet and stay close. I ain't seen much else or nothing else out here. But we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a diaphragm. Mm-hmm. An elk whistle to you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. Sounds like... Someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him. You got him? Pull the trigger. Hot shot, like a true professional. Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Okay, this is good. Same as before. Nice and steady. Now lay him in the shade. Hard shot? You're getting good at this now, feller. You got this now, Trevor. Uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pic of your next kill, and we'll talk business. Ah, I gotta go. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while.
Got the photo. Another nice kill. So this is what I'm thinking. All this demand for wild-raised meat with them city folks right now? If we divide and conquer, I reckon we could make ourselves a tidy little sideline. Text me a photo of your quarry. I'll let you know what it's worth and come by to pick it up as soon as I can. I like my meat with some age on it anyways. Uh, what do you say? Yeah, I say we'll see. I got a few other irons in the fire at the moment. All right, well, the offer's there. And you can keep that elk collar. Was my grandma's before she passed. Uh, be hearing from you. Wonderful. A veritable treasure trove. That's a perfectly good sock. And an entire courgette. Oh, I think you mean zucchini, Mrs. Thornhill. Oh, so wasteful. They're not like you and me. Is that a toothbrush? What's in that plastic bag? Soup? Oh, my. Oh, I'd say the bulimia's back when you... <laughs> Nail clippings? Yay or nay? These tights are barely laddered at all. What on earth is that? Oh, I think it's Mexican food. So exotic. Prune juice? It really is all the rage. Such fun. Just ignore us. Yes, don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. Okay. You're not Jock Cranley, are you? Actor and artist? I love your work. Oh, stunt double? Oh, our favorite show. Mrs. Thornhill, snap! Watch the birdie! Oh, we pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yeah, yes, like you did on that, on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, all well, that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah? Oh. Like that. Maybe something oh. like this? Oh. Or like oh. that? Huh? You like that? Oh, that's enough, huh? dear. You like that? Oh. 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 oh, hey. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Mm, wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, We're not worthy. I'm, uh, I'm not Jock, uh, what's his name? Cranley. Big star in the 80s. We well, love celebs. Oh. That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yes. Yeah. Before we met you, we were trying to break in to Bruce Spade's house and steal his rubbish. The things these stars throw away. Oh. They're not like you or me. <laughs> Mrs. Thornhill has the most unbelievable unbelievable collection of celebrity underwear and bathroom products. Things they've actually used themselves. You guys have a great vacation, all right? I gotta go. We could do with some help. All this climbing over walls and rooting through bins. It's such a business. Nigel's got an arthritic knee. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you need? Just a few Vinewood souvenirs for my mm. museum. Look, 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 look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have Famous people living in them, and some that are just hanging about. Bring us some things. I'd be very thankful indeed. Americans are the most wonderful people in the world, aren't they? The best! <laughs> <laughs> Such fun! <laughs> <laughs> of me hitting balls in Omsk as we speak. We got a breach! Is it, Mrs. Thornhill? 
I, uh, persuaded Mark Faustenberg to donate one of his golf clubs to your Museum of Dysfunction. Oh, bravo! It will take pride of place on the wall above Jill von Krastenberg's pregnancy test. <laughs> Speak to you soon! I love Americans. You're all so brash and uncomplicated. Hey! You cannot be here! Nobody! Like to tell tale. Come on! Get in the hot tub with me! I'm bored! I think that pill you gave me is wearing off. I've been watching you do laps for like two hours now. Yeah, okay, baby, just one more. Yo, that had to be a four digit calorie burn. Really even definition. Yo, it is like I'm airbrushed, but I am not. How do you like me now, Chloe? I'm not kidding. No, this might be the best I've ever looked. Hurry up, tie-dye! I'm getting lonely in here. Okay, I'm coming. Papa needs a little sugar after all that cardio. You want me to dance for you, baby? Oh yeah, baby. Show me those back and dancer moves. I can back it up all day, girl. My glutes, they feel like granite. And I can't believe how fat I got for a while. Check it out. I call this the bikini dropper. You likey girl who I can't even remember her name? You're terrible. It's Kathy. With an I or with a Y? An I. Trashy. I love it. Ah, uh, your house is amazing. Divorce. Best thing that ever happened to me. You know, the rhythm, girl. You gotta tame it. Are you still dancing professionally? I'm focusing more on my reality work at the moment. Oh, there it is. Spank it, girl. Spank it. Whoa, yeah! Come on, girl, it's getting hot in here. You want me to tell you a secret? That last jet wasn't from the hot tub. <laughs> Ew! That's gross. You can't stop the funk, girl. For real. I can't believe that I'm in a hot tub with Chloe Parker's ex. Shh. Just enjoy me. Feel the chemistry. Save the talk for the cocaine later. <sighs> Almost stalking perfection. That gardener had to go and ruin it. Hello, this is Nigel. Please be quick, I'm roaming in the United States of America. It's me, you nutcase. I picked up some clothes from your friend Tyler Dixon. There's even a skid mark. What fantastic news! Wait till Mrs. Thornhill hears about this. Oh, she will be pleased as punch. Let me ask you a question. What is the point of your life? Where do you find happiness? I'm happy. You're I'm way free. Strong out. I'm so and for bad. a reasonable oh, investment of time Whatever. and money, you can be too. I love your find car. joy the American way. At the end of your credit card bill. Yeah, oh, I'm just passing through. You can ignore me. You. Okay? But you cannot ignore the truth. Thanks the truth okay. is that Board dinosaurs are a lie that town. people believe because they are too weak. The world is only 157 years old. We are all descended from the same tree. Find out more at EpsilonProgram.com. Kiflon. Trees can talk, but only some people can hear them. That's a fact. Sperm is a lie. It does not exist. 
You were told about sperm to make you believe in the great evolutionary myth. If evolution were true, we'd be able to fly just like planes. And that's a fact. We are all related, father, brother. We're all related. Aside from people with red hair, they are not descended from the great wise one known as Kraft. I know you doubt, but doubt is the pathway to faith. Do you want to be happy? Don't mock my happiness. You may think it's funny, but where will laughter get you? Laughter won't make you happy. Pick a new set of lies. Pick a fellowship of like-minded adults who tithe money for eternity and merit badges. Kiflam. Salvation comes at a price, and it's a price worth paying. Salvation is available to anyone who wants it and to anyone who can afford it. That's a message of truth. Pick your own truth. Be whomever you want to be. This is an American religion, and its basis is lies, money, and polyester leisure wear. I'm talking about Epsilonism. But can you hear me? Do you want happiness? Or do you want the truth? Do you want success? A great and varied sex life? And a satisfying relationship with the only thing you can change? The truth? then it's time to embrace America's religion. Epsilonism. Find out more at epsilonprogram.com. I'm an Epsilonist. Yes, I'm an Epsilonist. This is our time. Don't believe what they tell you. Why not be happy? Why not buy into a system that frees you from nonsense and gives you something sensible to believe in? Your own happiness. Life is a gamble. Change the odds. How you doing? Hey, great, really great. How are you? Well. I know how you are. No, you don't. I have never heard such crap in all my life! Hey, I know my truth, brother, brother. Yeah? Good, and I know mine. Moron, moron. No number twos until the help gets here, okay? Hey, Gary, can I fetch your pooch? I'm a big fan. Dexy, Dexy! That's your fault, you stupid bald prick! Quick! Go on, go after him! Someone call the pound! And an ambulance! It's a guy chasing a dog! What is it with you people? Doggy! Come on, doggy! Be good to daddy! <clears throat> gotcha, you little bastard! There, there. I know, this is weird for all of us. You're gonna make a batshit crazy lady very happy. <sighs> okay, uh, now get back to Jerry before she uses this as an excuse to go back to rehab.
jock! Celebrity newsflash! Maniac steals collar from Gary McIntosh's dog in Rockford Hills! Oh, how delightful! Mrs. Thornhill will have me sporting that in the bedroom before the week is out. <laughs> oh, I, I, I joke, of course. <laughs> we really can't thank you enough for all the effort you're going to to make our holiday so special. Ah, don't mention it. I always enjoy meeting people more chemically unbalanced than myself. Tradesman's entrance. Don't mind if I do. I can't believe we're parting with Love Fist's manager. That's so cool. Oh, some of the shit I've seen, Love, it's unimaginable. You know, if Jez and the guys hadn't gotten so into yoga and probiotics nowadays, we'd all be dead. Well, I burned through the last of my dopamine on the second comeback tour in 05. The doctors reckon I'll never laugh again. Whoa, that's so awesome. I've been on the road with the Viz since 2002. I'm heavily involved with the creative. So they are working on new material. Ah, uh, they're still doing covers of their 80s stuff. Clear the Custard is like my favorite album ever. When I tell my friends I'm into Love Fist, they're like, you know, that's like making out with your grandfather. And I'm like, yeah, if my grandfather, like, totally grew his hair and wore leather pants. Oh, yeah, I don't care what people say. Willie is still totally hot. I mean, even after the hip replacement. So is it true that Willie wears women's underwear? Are they really all bisexual? Ah, oh, we're British, love. Let me tell you something. We make up our sexuality as we go along. Whoa, I am majorly stoned. Like, seriously. Do you want to level that out with some H? Or a, a line of K? That's what I always do. Gets you nice and fluffy. Until you're in a K-hole, taking in the A-hole. You haven't lived. <laughs> Everyone went so quiet. <laughs> hey, it's fine. Just enjoy the high, dude. Okay, which one of you cupcakes is Willie? Hey, who the fuck are you? <laughs> his dentist. Willie's still downstairs chatting up some bird, man. Whoa, his dentist comes to him? That is so cool. I bet I could hit your G-shot every time. You guys were amazing tonight. Ah, you know. Chin stainer is like my ultimate breakup song. That track is so fucking layered, man. It's like a renaissance painting, buried in all the knobs and titties as art. You know what I mean? You got any chewing gum or benzos on you? Oh, uh, no, I don't. I'm sorry. Have the others left already? Yeah, they went back to the hotel. Percy forgot to take his stands this morning and Jess's prostate skiing him jet. Is it true that you guys have trashed this week? Nah, that's just a PR thing. I mean, I still get wrecked every night, but it doesn't define me. You know, if these fans could talk, I'd have to kill them. I know every word of Dangerous Bastard. I remember one gig we did here in the 80s. So many people overdosed, it's officially classified as genocide. Oh, I wish I'd been born to see that. How old are you anyway, sweetheart? I'm 20. Oh, I mean, I'm like 22. Can't be too careful. Every celeb in Britain's getting done for jailbait these days. This is awkward. I've got nothing left to say. I mean, normally the lasses are gobbling me by now. That's fine. I don't mind just watching. Hey, man, no more autographs. Hey, that's okay. I want something more personal. Piss off, you twat, before I kick your ass. <laughs> Target. Oh, 
Let's say my work is done here. Guess what, you crazy English fruitcake? Oh, I'm dreadful at guessing, aren't I, Mrs. Thornhill? No, she can't hear me. She's washing out a nappy from Samantha Muldoon's dustbin. Yeah, uh, one gold tooth, courtesy of Love Fist, complete with complimentary DNA. Marvelous, marvelous. Oh, Jock, I knew you wouldn't let us down. Toodaloo! Jock. Yeah, I got you that stuff. Oh, great. Thank you. Where's your wife? Mrs. Thornhill, she's mm. not my wife. She's got a husband and two lovely kiddies at home. We met online. It's no nothing sexual. Where is she? Well, she's been trying to throw herself under celebs' wheels. <laughs> oh, well, she can throw herself under my wheels anytime. Oh, <laughs> I knew you were funny, Jock. Yeah. I knew I would like you. C can I have a hug? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Come here. Uh, I've got a p protruding hip. It's not a semi. Nigel! John! No. You won't believe what's happened! What? Only Al Dinapoli walking. He actually walks! He walks walk among, among us. us! Well, then what are you freaks waiting for? Well, that's a long story. Of mistaken identity. And a lot of lies. Stalking is not what I would call it. Not me. I told the judge I thought it was unfair. Yes, anyone's trousers could have come undone at that point. Exactly. Jolly bad luck. And we were such fans. If only we could talk to him. Yes, I know it was only his lawyers and agents. They ruin everything. If we could only get him somewhere private. You see, like that little lockup I know. No problemo. Look, there he is! Oh, shit. It's that crazy English bitch again. Nigel, he remembers me! To the chariot! Jock, you drive. Quick! He's getting away! Come on, Jock, get in! He's taking a left turn down the high street, Jock! Did you ever imagine we might get a private audience with Al Di Napoli? Only in my wildest dreams. All those nights spent role-playing in Mother's utility room. If only we'd known. I loved him in the Redeemer. Oh, Nigel, do your Al Di Napoli line. This is turban warfare, motherfucker. <laughs> it's uncanny. <laughs> oh, dear. Poor Jock must think we're batty. Oh, don't be silly. Oh, I won't. Jock, do you see that lorry? What the fuck's a lorry? Have a little faith. Anyone would think this was my first kidnapping. I hear that behind his charitable public face, he's remarkably right-wing. One can but hope. Liberal in the bedroom, conservative at the border, Mrs. Thornhill. <laughs> I love this country. He's going into the car park! The car park! No worries, mate! What on earth will we feed the man? I hadn't even thought of that. He probably eats sushi or quinoa. Is that... Oh, my giddy aunt! Everything okay there, Earl Crazy Cakes? My prostate has taken quite a beating. You have to lower the tone. Glad to see you on the proper side of the road, dear boy. I hope he likes us. How could he not? This lockup you prepared sounds charming. This must be second nature to you, Jock. Is he going through the hospital? Oh, my lord! Hold on to your corsets! Uh, seems rude not to follow him through the window. Escort your guest of honor to the trunk. 
Well, if you don't mind. Oh, come here, you! Come on! Come on! Let me meet your biggest fan! I, ah. oh, 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 fucking crazy! I'll be so Get off me! me. Ah, a true gentleman. This is so exciting! Nut jobs. What trouble in his planet? It's the Brock man! Oh, he's making such a fuss, these celebs. Oh, they're not like you or me. Ah! Ah, apart from you, Jock. <laughs> Would you go and get him one of his favorite pizzas? No. Well, then I don't know what to do with him. I mean, he hasn't eaten for a few days. You've kidnapped a major movie star, okay? Now, you can either leave him somewhere and hope he's been sufficiently scared shitless to stay quiet, or you can send him on the kind of trip he won't come back from. Oh, a trip. Such fun. Oh, dear, oh, dear, what a palaver this is. Decisions, decisions. If you could just handle this job. Al is in the boot of the car. You'd be doing us such a favor. I'm really not one for goodbyes. the trunk of this car and B being a horrific scenario of my choosing. Oh God, please no! I, I, I have money on me! Lots of money! Good to know, Al! Good to know! I'll be sure to grab that after we're done. Oh, shit! Please, let me go! I thought you were a big, tough action movie guy! Movie critics. Are those crazy old bricks with you? Just me and you, honey bun. Did you have fun with those two? They're harmless, aren't they? They are not harmless. Those fucked up politics, the things that woman made me do to her feet. Ah, you lucky boy. Older women are to be cherished, like a fine cheese. Sometimes the rind is the best bit. What do you want? Cars? Drugs? What about art? I, I got shit loads of art. I bet you know you wouldn't want that. You barely know me, Al, and you're already judging my cultural standing. I find that very offensive. There must be something you want. Other than a cheeseburger, a cold beer, and you shutting the hell up, I'm all good. Whatever they're paying you, I'll double it! They're not paying me anything! Then why are you doing this? Well, one, I'm a bad person! Two, I understand that love takes many forms! And three, most importantly, you've seen all our faces! I've made the mistake of not tying up loose ends once before! I won't tell a soul, I promise! We both know you'll go straight to the police! I won't! I fucking swear it! I can give you $10,000 right now! What is that smell? What do you expect? I'm fucking terrified! Diaper Denapoli, they should call you! Curtains up! It's time for your final scene! Please, no! I looked over and the car was full of flies. Oh, God! The woman said she had every intention of burying the person, but she wanted her last few days in the carpool. You fucking psycho! Jock! 
we've been worried sick. I regret to report the sad passing of Mr. L. Dinopoli. Train accident. Very sudden. I loved that man. We will remember him always. The way he was on TV. Before we met him. Not that any of us met him, of course. You two enjoy the rest of your vacation. Excuse me, sir. Can I get help? Hello. Hello. Thank God you stopped. Uh, were you a fan of Frank Mathers? Frank Mathers? The TV guy who used to do the shows about space until he became obsessed with undersea exploration? No. Not a huge fan. Frank was my husband. By not a huge fan, I mean... Not a huge fan as much as a fanatic. He was a cruel and heartless man. Well, like I said, I was not a huge fan. But I loved him. Didn't he leave his sick wife and five kids to run off with you? We loved each other. I'm sure he did. <laughs> and I'm penniless now, not more or, or less. Well, Frank's submarine broke apart while he was trying to save the San Andreas White Shark. But his body was never found. You know, people thought someone tampered with the airlocks. That's an outright lie. That was never proven. I love Frank, and Frank loved me, which is why we invested so much money in life insurance. If we could just prove that Frank was dead and that the airlocks weren't tampered with, I would sleep so much easier. I bet you would. <laughs> I'll make it very worth your while. Guess I could take a look. Hello? So, I think I got the pieces from Frank's sub. You did? That's wonderful news. Can you meet me back on the pier at Polito Cove? I can, but the thing is... Well, I'll tell you in person. My hero. 
Hey, I found it. Well, here's the good stuff. Oh, you precious, precious man. Yeah, but I gotta tell you, I think the airlocks were tampered with. No, no, that's just normal wear and tear. It may surprise you to learn that along with being a beautiful, finely put together woman, I am also an expert in nautical engineering and glass degradation. <sighs> yeah, but I mean, look, it's, oh. Looks like Frank tried to scratch a message in with his last dying breath. It says, someone tampered with the airlocks. airlocks. How can that be? My poor Frank. It must have been his ex-wife. Very bitter woman. Yeah, well, I don't know anything about that. I'm not a detective, you know, but something doesn't ring true here. No, no, I know. The police are in on it. I'm going to take this to the FIB. They'll know what to do. Yeah, well, that's your business. Hey, ho, whoa! You said you're gonna make it worth my while. Yes, yes. This should be plenty for your time and discretion. It's ten bucks. Oh. Here's a signed photo of Frank. He was a lovely person. You would have been great friends. He loved his fans. I've got to get going to the FIB, I mean. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I hope you treasure that photo. There are only a few hundred of those left. I wish I could have given you more, but the life insurance people have been such snakes.